guys, good morning and welcome to my channel. Today is March 25 and we will do a makeup makeover. This is Valerie, my sister. Hi. Okay, so um, she will go in a birthday party. So I will do a makeup for her. So I'll, I will let her, um, you know, uh, be presentable later this afternoon when she go to the birthday party. So if this is your first time watching my video guys, kindly hit the subscribe button below. And if you are interested and curious about it, please keep on watching. To start with, I will be using my BYS face primer with vitamin E and chamomile extra. I just get a small amount of the primer and spread it all over the face from nose forehead cheeks and their eyes all over the face and just uh, spread it Next, after applying the face primer, I will be using my L'Oreal Inflatable Pro Matte Foundation in Natural Beige. I also put it all over the face and using the flat brush to spread it out. Slowly brush it all over the face to blend the foundation. Then I will be using my Pro Concealer from LA Girl to cover the dark circles and using the small brush to blend it brush the other side as well make sure that it is spread out brush until it is evenly um, spread out uh, all over under eyes Next is I will be using Mary Kay foundation I use it to cover dark spots in the cheeks area both cheeks area and also in the forehead using a same brush which is the flat brush slowly brush it make sure that it is spread out where you put the second foundation Next is I will be using my Nishido press powder using a different brush. Just uh, put the press powder all over the face. This will help to smoothen the face because the foundation is kind of oily so to make it like smooth finish uh, I'm using the uh, breast powder then for the contour 
I will be using my Maybelline foundation in coffee shade. I put it in the jawline area and also on the cheeks and at the top forehead just a little bit at the top and using a angled brush I spread it out in upward way so blend it together spread it out until it is evenly uh, spread out in the face so it will look natural do it on both sides where you put the liquid foundation and the cheeks uh, do it on the upward brushing So just keep brushing until it blends uh, uh, well in the face. And then for natural looking cheekbones, I use a powder contour on the top of the uh, liquid contour that I use and another pressed powder under the contour to make it a clean looking contour I put it in the up, up contour area and down and next is the nose line. I'm using my Manistar Contour. So just I just draw a line using the brown shade because there's four different color on the, the contour. So I'm using the medium color. And next is I'm using a highlighter from Becca and on the line in the middle of the nose and use a brush to spread it out. This will help enhance the uh, contour. And then to clean the lines that I draw, I use my sleek concealer. So just put it in the end side to make it natural. And next is I will be using my BYS the 240 eyebrow. I just put a small amount of the liquid eyebrow and draw a line first at the tip of my eyebrow so I uh, draw a line from the top till the end and until I am uh, satisfied the look of it then I do the other side so same thing I started first at the tip part of my eyebrow the tail and just draw the line so if you notice I just created um, a line from both top part and uh, lower part and then I'm I'm using my Lebron eyebrow I put it in the middle of the eyebrow to cover it and 
And then I use a different brush to spread it out on the eyebrow. And it's kind of darker, uh, so I will be using my brow tint to lighter the eyebrow to make it a natural looking eyebrow. And this will also help uh, do a uh, good blending of the eyebrow so it will spread out and it will create a uh, lighter shade. just use the brush and then I will be using my concealer to get rid the uh, excess eyebrow to make a uh, clean looking eyebrow and get rid the uh, to make the lines uh, looking nicer and a uh, nice eyebrow so just uh, put it under the eyebrow and on top of the eyebrow and using a blender to clean it just blend it well until it is uh, nicer and you put um, brush it also in the middle uh, upper part of the eyebrow and then the lower eye of the eyebrow until you're satisfied how it looks like and then so leave the eyebrow first but we'll come back to that later using a press powder um, blend it all together So the eyebrow is still not done, we will do a touch up on that later after we uh, do the blush and, and the eyeshadow. So for the blush, and I'm using my sleek blush and I put it on the cheeks to the side of the cheeks. And do the same on the other side of the cheeks. I put a little of uh, blush on because I will do the touch up as well later and it will just fade away. So for now, we will put a, um, the uh, blush on a little heavier. And next, I will be using my J. Casanova eyeliner. I just put it at the tip of her eyes because her eyes is um, too wide, so it's better to put it uh, at the inside of her eyes. So I don't put it from from the until the end of her eyes only on the inside like halfway on of her eyes and do the same on the other side so put it at the end of her side and make a chinita look See, to make it darker, I just put it twice or double because uh, this eyeliner is uh, almost running out, so I'll put it like uh, twice. But I really like this eyeliner, um, my sister gave it to me. It's, it's from, um, I think it, uh, it's from Paris. And it, uh, it really lasts longer, so if it gets sweaty, it doesn't fade away or it doesn't like, you know, melt in, eye, in the eyes. Next is I will put again another concealer because the first time I put the concealer, it doesn't conceal the under eyes. 
So I put it another concealer and I just blend it real well. Brush it slowly and blend it really well until you know it looks uh, natural. Next is I will be using my L'Oreal Palais. I will be using three shades. Um, lilac, medium brown, and a lighter brown. First, I put the medium brown. So I cover all the eyes area. Do the same on the other eyes. So we just blend it together. And then I will be using the lilac color. I just put it at the end part to have a um, smoky look eyes and then just brush it at the top but not in the inside halfway of the inside same thing on the other side I use it at the uh, side only of the eyes not the whole area of the eyes the brown shade I put it all over the eyes, but this one is only halfway. So just brush it, blend it. And then there is a uh, excess, so I use the cotton patch to get rid of it. And then I'm using the lighter shade. So I just put it at the other side and then blend it together near the nose area that's where I put it and I just uh, brush it I also put it in under the eyebrows spread it together and blend it just to create a uh, lighter smoky eyes with a lilac the highlight like is like uh, the contour that I put at the near on the eyeliner. Uh, the reason for that is to have a smoky look eyes. And using a cotton bud to get rid of the excess uh, eyeshadow. And using the curler to curl the lashes in both sides. Next is doing the other side of the eyes. I'm having a hard time curling it, but I still try. After curling it, I'm using my Maybelline mascara. So just apply in both eyes. And using a different brush, I brush it in uh, both eyes. Next is I applied a lipstick. I'm using the L'Oreal red lipstick and uh, right now I clean the uh, I clean it with the cotton pads and spread it out so there's a um, excess on the top of the lips so I use the cotton pads to get rid of it
Next is I'm using my powder highlighter. I put it on top of the cheeks near the uh, eyes. So this highlighter is really nice. I really like the highlighter. It gives you glow. And to finish it up, I will be using again my Nishido Press Powder. This press powder is really good. It's doing its job. And to get a moist on the lips, I use a Maybelline lipstick. 